Norway, on the Scandinavian peninsula bordering Sweden, Finland, and a bit of Russia. It's a largely glacial country and two-thirds of it is ice. In Norway, they speak Norwegian. And the currency that they used are crowns. One of the cultural sites in Norway is St. Olaf's Church. Another cultural site is the Royal Palace in Oslo, Norway. One of the funnest recreational activities in Norway is fishing. People have caught the biggest fishes ever seen on this earth in Norway. Not only does Norway have really big fishes, but <clears throat> it has a lot of species too, like the balanrasse, the cod, the greater weaver, the haddock, halibut, ling, mackerel, turbot, tusk, and wolffish, and the pollock. One of the things you can really enjoy in your visit to Norway is the nightlife. You can walk around at night to watch those beautiful lights of the city of Norway. And strolling around is pretty much just the way everyone gets around town. Shopping in Norway is very unique. You can find a lot of stores that you wouldn't find in the United States. People from all over the world go to North Norway to find their style. Before you leave Norway, it is a must that you go to the amusement park. It is the best way to spend time with your family and say goodbye to the beautiful Norway. It is a memory unforgotten. Roros is one of Norway's two nationally significant mining towns. It was burned to the ground in 1678 and 1679 by the Swedish army during the Scandinavian War. Rosencrantz Tower sits next to Hawkins Hall and is also on the grounds of Bergen's old fortress. It was built of stone in the 1560s and survived many fires. In Norway, you say hello, Hallo. Bjorn Bjornstern wrote the national anthem for Norway. This is Rollo. He was a Duke of Normandy a long time ago. Edvard Munch is one of the most famous artists in Norway and pretty much in all of the world. He's the one that drew the scream. Hydro has captured its first aluminum tube orders for solar collectors and taken the lead in Europe in the introduction of aluminum tubes to the solar thermal industry as a replacement for traditional copper tubes, which means better for the earth.